What's up everyone, MCI here at ADP Studios. In today's quick vid, I am going to go through the producer tips from Facebook part two. So it's been a few days since we did part one. If you haven't seen that video, I will drop a link below this one just so you can check that out. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through my dude, Dusty Raw, that's his name on Facebook. He asked, he asked a question. Um, basically where producers are getting stuck. A whole lot of responses on there, so I thought it'd be a good idea for me to go through some of the things that I've learned while I was getting stuck on some of these things, and maybe my advice can help push things forward for you guys. Number one, mix density without mud. So that's always a tricky factor when you're doing uh, mixing with your hip hop beats, with your rap beats, with your trap beats. Um, a, lot of, a lot of times you've got to think about um, making sure that your 808s and your kick drums are first tuned and then after that make sure that they're not sharing a lot of the same frequencies because then you can't tell the difference between the two sometimes that there's a lot of dirty sub below 30 but you do just got to do what sounds right mixing is a hard thing to teach someone because every sound is different so it's really about your ears but also learning how to side chain your kick in your 808s um, will definitely help with some of the mud there. So just look up side chaining. So another one being done. When is it done? Just remember the rapper does have to rap over your beat. So some things that I've been trying to do is really minimalize my beats and my compositions just to make it so rappers can actually rap and feel the vocals over the song. It's hard because sometimes you produce for yourself, but when is it done? Um, it's probably done before you think it's done to be honest on finished beats this so this is a slightly different than when is when is it done is it done um, on finished beats so when you're inspired to make something new you probably run and you probably turn on FL and and you just crank out something new and it's an idea you want to flesh out but I think scheduling and setting aside time to finish some of the beats that you've started and revisit those if you're just always making skeletons I think you need to de delegate some specific time just to finishing up beats instead of just trying to find new sounds and make new beats. Um, finding the right audience to sell to, this is all about marketing. I could go on and on about it. A lot of people know more than me about it, but I'm learning a lot of things. But uh, as far as finding the right audience, um, I would say one of the major things, maybe sound, maybe find a producer who you think sounds similar that's actually really selling and and really has a following an audience a cash money ap um, gummy beats relic those kind of guys and um kind of see who you compare yourself to and then start um seeing who their audience is and learning to hack their audience adhd leaving unfinished projects like i said same as before finding chord progressions so finding chord progressions there's an awesome vst out there called scalar there's another one, oh man, I can't remember what it's called, but it's very similar to that. And it can literally help you with learning how chord progressions go. Also on FL, there is a tool on there that will stamp out chords for you. I'm sure it's the same on some of the other VSTs that you may use to make beats. I'm not real sure I don't use anything but FL, or never have actually. Um, but there's something on there. You could, you could also buy different like MIDI and chord progression kits. I know Bro Beats has a really sweet one that I used because he had a lot of scales and a lot of MIDI things already placed out for the scales. So look that up too. Um, within production itself, everything sounds the same. Yeah, there's always that fine line in music where basically you want to do kind of what's popular because then you'll fit in because that's what's happening and or you just want to be completely eclectic and do your own thing because it makes you stand out so i would say mesh the two and music comes and goes as trends and waves as well so if you can be on the leading edge of the next thing that may be not trap or trap step or or whatever um thing that's really happening now some of the lo-fi stuff and but music will always find a way so yeah, it may sound the same to you, um, but just keep pushing through and try to find your own sound. I'm gonna do one more. I could probably make even a, another, I might even do a part three of this. So um, uh, this is the last one I'm gonna do. Uh, it says, getting stuck in a four bar loop. So with hip hop and rap, 
you want to make it very basic but you don't want to make it as easy as just a four bar loop one of the major things that's helped me out instead of always trying to add 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 learn how to take instruments away so maybe the next time the 808 doesn't hit but it's just the kick in that certain four bar pattern and then the next four bar pattern bring the 808 back in and let it sustain so you could really just take a four bar loop and if you're just adding and subtracting that will definitely help you a lot control and make a song so with that being said much love to you guys hopefully that helped you guys out i will be doing a part three because there was many many more i didn't get to but i just don't like to do real long vids www.exitdoorproductions.com make sure you check that out lots of new material coming your way all the time lots of new beats lots of new videos like this and please like share subscribe whatever you're checking this out on whether it's facebook or youtube i really appreciate it and um, i'll catch you guys next time all right peace